Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today I'm going to freak out a part of myself. The part of me that's a collector, a hoarder, that loves to buy things, has these big ideas for stuff, and then doesn't actually do them because, well, life gets in the way. That's what I'm going to do today. I had all of these badges, paper thingies, die cuts, whatever you want to call them. They're kind of embossed. I don't know what to call these things. For all different cities and countries that my family has visited over the years. And I had this vision of a travel journal. And when I saw all these on a display, I bought a whole bunch of them. I actually bought duplicates of some of them because I have two kids. And you know, do you make one album or do you make two albums? I had all these big plans for it and I haven't done it. I've had this stuff for years, haven't made the album, haven't even attempted to make the album. So the reality is I'm probably not going to make that album. So what I'm going to do is use these things up or I'm going to have to get rid of them. It's use it or lose it. So these things, well, they're fairly large for the size journal that I have, and I don't want them to completely overtake the entire journal, which I think is hilarious considering I wanted to create a travel journal, but now somehow I don't want the travel thing everywhere. So first thing I'm going to do is audition these on different pages and see if the colors already naturally go or if they fit somewhere already. Now that one to me screamed a perfect fit for that, but I didn't want those little hooks on the top or circles, whatever those are for, so I just cut that one off. So I've spread them all out because I'm going to have to use all of these or whatever I don't use, I'm going to have to either throw away if it's not donatable or give it away. And really, I like these. I'd like to use them. So I'm kind of testing these out in different places, seeing if the colors go together, those types of things. And this is just the audition process for these pieces. But it's really kind of thrown me for a loop that I have duplicates of some and not of others. Well, this thing that I thought was a problem, no, it was just an oops. There is an outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly in these because these things are the exact same size or they're symmetrical. So I can line up two of them front to back. That way I can create tags or almost like a big giant paper charm that I can use in this journal. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use them, but I like the idea of the three of those being stuck together. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to do more of the double-sided ones, but what I do know for sure is that I want Venice on that page. So I'm going to put some adhesive on there and smack that thing on the page. Those three that I made like giant charms, I'm going to want to hang those off of the binding of the journal. So I'm just going to grab some baker's twine and I'm going to loosely tie it on there. And I'm kind of auditioning it here. If I don't like it here, can I cut it off and put them somewhere in the journal? Absolutely. But I'm thinking I really kind of like them there. So I've got the ones that are left over, the ones that haven't quite fit anywhere perfectly in my mind. And that's when I started to get a lot of that talk in my head about how, oh, it doesn't really go here. Do you know how this is going to work? What's it going to look like? Basically, a lot of that doubt, a lot of that fear, a lot of that inner critic -y kind of stuff. And that's when after a couple moments of that, I'm like, um, hello, you're either going to throw these away or you're going to use them. So with the whole use it or lose it, that puts it back into perspective for me of just slap them down somewhere. Now what I'm about to say probably won't shock you, but I actually have more fun when I take the approach of just let's play with this and see where it goes as opposed to worrying what it's going to look like, what it's going to become, am I putting it in the right place, is this what I should do with it? All those things just aren't as much fun as just saying, you know what, I'm just going to slap these things in here and see what happens. If you'd like to know more about ways to let yourself play and how specifically to do it, I've got a couple of different resources for you. I've got the Let's Play series of videos and link parties, every week a different video that's focusing on a way that I have let myself play, as well as a free workshop called Permission to Play. So you notice a theme going here with me? It's all about the play. And it's not just about my play, it's about your play too. Let's Play always has a link party attached to it, and that way you can share whatever you're playing with creating. Now it might be on this month's theme, or it could be on something completely different. That's the cool thing about play, there aren't a whole lot of rules to it. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play. If you've enjoyed this video, you know I'd so appreciate it if you gave it that thumbs up. And of course, I would be so grateful if you know somebody that you think could use a little play if you shared this video with them. Thanks so much for being a part of this colorful journey.